Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your April 2018 monthly reading. Now, this is generally, you know, my readings are usually love readings, but we are going to see whatever comes up, and I think I'm going to do it a little bit differently today. This is for the sign of Taurus. What do you have for Taurus for the months, month of April? And look what just fell out. The Knight of Pentacles. Beautiful, huh? Oh, we got another one. Woo! Death just fell out. Okay, so something is ending. Something is ending. You may be being tested. There's no second chance. Okay, there's no second chance here. We have a transformation on the horizon. Okay, we have a transformation and you may be feeling unhappy about this. Okay, it could be a little, you may be ungrateful. You may be ungrateful about this new, new uh, change that's happening. Okay, I feel like that you have been tested and this truth comes out. I feel like there's a truth that comes out that maybe it even forces you to go down a new road. All right, and you may be un, un, um, Okay, you may not be healed from it yet, okay? Whatever this change is, whatever this ending is, you may not be healed from it yet. So this is, this is for April. This is being recorded in March. I need to remind you guys to watch this in April, okay? So this right here is the past. This first, I'm going to do this a little differently, okay? The first lineup is the past. It appears that you are being tested, and that something has ended. Something has ended that forces some sort of transformation. And you may go through a period of time of feeling ungrateful, feeling unhappy, un, you know, unfulfilled with this new beginning. You may feel like, you know, this, this truth has come out maybe a little too abruptly. And that you are unable to forgive the situation. Okay. Maybe this is just asking you to forgive the situation, forgive the past, because this is forgiveness. Forgiveness is needed. Okay, Forgiveness is needed here, but you may be feeling like, I'm not sure I can forgive at this time. I'm, I'm not there yet. Okay. It's, it's, it, it's going to happen, but it's going to happen slowly. Present. So it, it appears that you, deserve, you're looking for more. You're looking for more. But, you, but you're not quite looking for, for love at this time, okay? I feel as though you, you may be angry. You may be not focused. You may feel like you lack concentration at this time. Because maybe this ending happened too fast. This ending happened too fast. And you maybe just feel like things are unstable at this time. Things are a little chaotic. You know, I feel like they're, they're the past, there's something that has completed. Remember, this is for April, people. Something is ending that tests you, that tests your strength, that tests your, your, ability to look at this from a positive angle. It does. I mean, whatever it ends and, you know, 
This could have ended months ago or it could end last week. Okay, so keep that in mind. Something is completing in your life that tests your ability to be grateful about it. And you're going to need to forgive this situation. You're going to need forgiveness and you're going to need to keep your eyes open, not closed. You're going to have to accept this change as it is, as it comes. And I feel like you may feel like you don't want to accept this change. Okay? That is what's happening. There's some sort of change that happens that you may not want to accept. And I feel like this change happens. It could happen very quickly and leave you feeling unfocused and unstable. And the thing is, is that you, it's a time of, this is a gift. It is some sort of gift, even though you may not see it. You may feel withdrawn at this time and detached and emotional and unwilling to give your positive emotions to anybody at this time because you're still working on forgiving this situation. So this is for April. So something in March, and I'm thinking March, okay? I think something in March is ending. Could be March, could be beginning of April. I think something is ending because this is April. So I think that there's something that is happening that might make you feel very upset and unhappy with the world, whatever. And, you know, it really is a gift even though you don't see it as a gift. Yeah, it's forcing a new start. And it's helping you to let go of something that doesn't serve you. But I feel as though you may not. This is the future. All right. Let me just fix it a little bit more. Get that corner. There we go. So it appears to me that you are you are starting a new journey. You're starting a new journey after your period of I think there's a door that's closing. There's a door that's closing in your life that you may not be too happy about. Okay, you may be feeling like very sad, sullen, uneasy. Okay, this this has ended and I'm not really thrilled about it. And now you may it's ending, but it's bringing you down a new path it's it's asking you to take a leap of faith okay to to increase your faith in this situation okay because there was burdens that needed to be released and you are being called to take a leap of faith take a risk and drop these burdens okay drop them because there's some sort of contract that ended that needed to end okay it needed to end it didn't serve you Okay, it's like this wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. And now there's nothing you can do to change it. And I'm sure that, that and this is what this is. You deserve more. You deserve that soulmate connection. You deserve that ultimate love. And I feel as though it's out of your hands. I feel like whatever this was, there was a lack of harmony. There was a lack of togetherness. And you're feeling very unhappy about the outcome of this completion this completion of this contract and i i feel as though um you may be feeling mentally restless angry and intense and and i feel like you know this is it starts in february or february march is it could be february because i said it march could be in april it makes you feel very unhappy about this completion you were going to be called to forgive the situation, even though it hurts. And I think you're going to have a hard time doing that. I think you're going to be very angry with this ending that happens. It makes you feel like, I think that you're going to be withdrawn. And you're going to have to go down a new path, whether you like it or not. And, you know, this is the third Taurus April reading I have done and I've got them all to the end the other two and the message is the same 
something is going to happen and I don't think this has happened yet I don't because or it could have but I think that many of you are thinking that you may think this is something that happened months ago this ending but I think it's a new ending okay I think it's a new ending I think there's a new completion that that happens that make because I think that you were living in this spot for a while this nine of pentacles upright you were feeling very good you were feeling very um abundant you know enjoying the finer things in life just living life and being happy about it but you see now it's reversed I think something happens and it could be old wounds coming back to the surface and you have to realize yes it's really over I think something has ended and now you're working on forgiving the situation okay and you're being tested your strength is being tested I'm not kidding you and you are being called to just keep going but I feel like this ending may happen abruptly or it may have happened too quickly okay and I feel whatever this ending it was you there was real love because these are the rods of love pointing up at this ending okay so I feel as though whatever this ending was it did involve love whether it was a love relationship a family relationship whatever whatever this ending was it ended and it has left you feeling very unhappy and ungrateful and angry something is making you angry we have angry 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 and the angry i mean somebody may be feeling angry at some point and very unable to give any emotional support to anybody at this time okay um I feel as though there's a there's a lot of self-doubt and self-loathing here, okay? Because this is loathing. Whatever has happened, you may be, you know, really feeling the pain, okay? Feeling the pain of this ending, all right? And the thing is, is that this was very heavy, Anyway, it was very heavy for you to carry around and it is time for you to let it go. It, it, it was it was it was time. This is a completion. This needed to end. It needed to end. I feel as though there was there was too many demands here anyway. And so you are being called to have this take this leap of faith on this new beginning that was caused because of a contract that ended. There's a contract that ended here in which I feel is going to, is making you feel very upset. It's making you feel very upset, but it was meant to be. It was meant to be. And now, and I mean, and now you are being called to just work through it. Okay, you have to work through it and not be angry. Try not to act with anger. I feel like this this is a month of uh observing observing the situation okay observing the situation that was just lost okay really getting to the bottom of it really working on those old wounds really digging deep into the soul okay that's what it is it's like digging deep to heal to forgive yourself to forgive the situation to become aware of what happened and how you can fix it because this is lack of awareness as well self-loathing but I feel like something has happened that is going to make you start a new journey okay and you're going to have to take a risk but I feel like there's a lot of uh there's a lot of anger here and you know that's a normal normal emotion so I feel as though there is some abrupt change that doesn't make you happy. You know, it's the end of a difficult time, whether you know it or not. You may feel it's an end of a difficult time with these both of these reversed. And you may feel, you may feel like you want to work on this. 
Like you want to put energy into this. But you're being called to go down a new path. Whatever has ended, needed to end. And, and somebody needed to take action. Action had to be taken. I think there nines are closure. A door has been closed. A door has been closed. And you're coming to the real true grips of the situation. A lesson has been learned. Changes are on the horizon. Big ones. It's time for you to start a new phase in your life. A new chapter. A huge lesson has been learned here. This was a success. And you may not see it like that. I feel like you you may lose hope. You may lose hope. You may feel discouraged with this loss. And life isn't fair. Life isn't fair. But there's nothing we can do about it. I think that there's some, there's some amount of despair or hurt that has come about that has been very unfair in your life. And you may have lost some hope and some inspiration. And you may not feel at peace. Because there's a contract that has ended and it may have ended rather quickly. And it may leave you feeling at a complete loss. You may be angry and hurt and unable to feel grateful for all the gifts that you have received in this life during this time of transformation because that's what's happening here you're going through a transformation and I think that you're working deep down deep down on the hurt and as you work on that hurt that is buried deep deep you may feel uneasy there's an uneasy feeling here as you discard the baggage that you have buried inside of you You have been, on the surface, I feel as though you had been ready for this contract to end. But deep down, there was indecision. And now you've come to the point that the contract is really over. And you may be feeling a little or a lot unhappy about this new found true reality
Let's get a couple of these Angel Romance and see what comes up. This is for April. I was looking for positive, but I can't make it positive if it's not. If it, it is what it is. It is what it is. There's a change that is happening. And maybe it's deep down within you. Where we go from feeling at our best to not so good. And that's what's going on here. I feel as though there's some sort of transformation that forces you to dig deep and find those old wounds and deal with them. And as you deal with them, it's not going to make you happy. It's not. But you have to. You have to deal with them for this karmic, karmic lesson, karmic lesson to be completed. Okay? You have to deal with this unfair issue whether you like it or not. I mean, that's all there is to it. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. You have to heal. You have to deal with this. You have to deal with this to find true love or to find what you're looking for, to get to where you need to be. You have to dig deep into those wounds, into your heart, into your soul to get what you really want. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Honeymoon. This is not a little honeymoon. It's not. This is about taking the time you need away from the world without the phones, without the computer, to get yourself back together, whether you're alone or you're with somebody. This is about taking the time to heal. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully past life relationship you have known each other before you know what's funny is in my other readings that I did like I told you I already did too there was I believe that there is somebody coming in it didn't show up in this one though I believe that there is somebody coming in, but you might not be able to offer them anything. You might not accept it. And we had the Four of Cups. Here it is. You might not be able to accept it because you haven't done this work yet. Yeah, that could certainly be the case. But I do feel as though, you know, you are being called to take action in regards to those deep embedded wounds so that you can be ready for this person. There is somebody, there is somebody. My, both of the other two readings said there was. But they also had this same message of hurt. There's still some hurt here that is going to be brought back up. Okay, this hurt is going to come back up. And it's going to force you to truly close this door so that you can move on. I mean, that's what it is. There's doors closing here. There's a chapter of your life that's ending. And a new one is beginning. But for you to get to this... Uh, Union. This is the indecision. It's here. I mean, it's here. But because you're still got those wounds that need to be healed, I don't think that it can happen until you do that. So I feel like forgiveness is needed and you need to get through this period of loathing so that you can reunite with this past life person. And I do believe that there is somebody new, 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 new. Did y'all hear that? Somebody new. Okay? But you have to get, you have, and see, this is part of the lesson. How many of you said, no, there isn't somebody new? Not very many, because I know that us Tauruses are at a point where we have come to the realization that it's over. It's over. But deep down, it's still in there. And, to, and this is a carry-on. This month is about taking the last remnants and healing them. 
making the effort by enjoying today. And as we make the effort truly to let go of that unfair situation that we were involved in, I believe that we have somebody coming that's waiting in the wings, way back, waiting, seriously. There's no forward movement until you tell the universe you're really, really, really done. This past life relationship is not the one that you're thinking. And I'm sorry to be the big bringer of bad news. A new beginning. With someone you don't have any experience with. In this lifetime, you have to let go of the old baggage, the old contract. You have to. You have to. It's over. It's time to let it go. It's time to end that karmic tie. So that you can unite with the person that is supposed to be in your life now. So what I have for April is you digging in deep to grab the last little pieces of remnants from that relationship, commitment, contract that didn't work out. And as you truly let go, you may feel a little upset and angry. We need another advice card. One more advice card. What's the advice? Enjoy this moment fully. Let the past go. Great love is worth taking. The steps you are guided to take, right? Support. People come into your life for many different reasons. Some of you learn from, some, some you learn from, and then they move on. While others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals. Others remain beside you throughout your entire life. Some you learn from. And then they move on. That's the message. It may seem unfair. And you may be unhappy. But you are meant to go down a new path. So my, this is my, my April. I think I will let this one go. I feel as though after you truly, truly, truly release the last remnants, that new love will come into your life. But I don't see it in sight as of yet. Because it's waiting for you to heal talk to you later